in that bookshop. I was not intending to spend that much money. On a little bit of an adventure. I'm going to be book shopping a ton because I'm going to head up to San Diego to check out the new Meet Cute Romance Bookshop. I saw this on Instagram and then I saw Destiny Sidwell came out to San Diego and to California and actually went to the bookshop herself. She got a ton of cool things and like cool merch from the shop and I have some things in mind that I want to see if they have, particularly one of their tote bags. I want to check out their bookstore in general and they're having a 25 to 30 percent off sale for their like spring cleaning event but I just thought I would come take you guys along with me I'm so excited to go I have the day off of work today so I just wanted to do something fun for myself and I'm gonna go book shopping today I have some new viewers on my channel so if you are new here hello my name is Erica I go by paperback girly on the internet I'm a 24 year old who loves books I've always loved books always had a passion for books I just want to share my love for books on my channel so welcome to paperback girly anyways I'm going to head up now to the bookstore Let's get this fun little day started. So I just made it out to North Park. Thankfully stopped raining, so I am walking dry, thank God. I had to park far. Unfortunately, parking in San Diego is not the best, and I actually my first time coming to North Park in a long time and I forgot just how the parking was but it feels nice to be out in San Diego I'm walking right now through North Park and I'm gonna head I see it right now I'm gonna head to the meet cute bookshop there's this little crosswalk right here so I'm gonna cross across
y'all when i tell you i did some damage in that bookshop i was not intending to spend that much money i spent over a hundred dollars first thing i bought was this cute tote bag it says welcome oh no no it says greetings from romance landia and it has the little mural that they have in their bookshop i got some super cute magnetic bookmarks like i have a little bit of a obsession right now with bookmarks like i love bookmarks i have this cute little like heart cute little heart bookmark right in my books oh my goodness guys i found these adorable magnetic bookmarks look at these things look at them they are so cute they are from the brand indigo maiden i got this meet cute romance bookshop sticker and then this little meet cute sticker and then they also gave me a bookmark ah, which i love this is so adorable but i got the brutal prince by sophie lark i haven't really looked into this series i've heard good things about it and i want to get into a dark romance i heard this is like a mafia romance as well i think that would be a really good book to try I'm currently reading Flawless by Elsie Silver on my Kindle, and I think I'm going to like it. I already wanted to buy the special edition covers of Heartless, Flawless, and Powerless, I believe, which is the three in the series. They had both of the special edition covers of the two books, but I ended up just buying Flawless. This was definitely a splurge purchase. I don't think I've read any Kennedy Ryan books, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about Hookshot, Longshot, like all the books in this little series. But I bought Longshot by Kennedy Ryan. This is a special edition edition cover they also had all of the special edition covers and they were actually super cute i love this little like illustration i really did like that i did splurge on this this is the most expensive book i bought it was 22.50 and the tote bag was 30 dollars. this is the illustrated edition which is cute oh it has oh uh, oh they have pictures in it stop that's what i love about indie bookstores is that they just have like the most niche items even though i could probably find this at like a local barn are they gonna have the illustrated copy i don't think so okay so that is my little book haul from the romance bookshop now i'm not gonna spend any more money today i'm telling that to myself right now erica you're not spending any more money on books or anything of that kind today food okay fine you can spend money on food no more book spending no more book money spending oh they have girl scout cookies <laughs> as i literally said to myself okay i'm not gonna be spending any more money on books today but i do want to go check out the barns out here i'm not really ever in san diego i haven't been out here in a minute and so now that i'm out here and i'm just having a day to myself and i'm having such a good time okay i got me a little coffee from that coffee shop i saw earlier i'm just feeling it i'm just feeling the vibe right now so i think i'm going to go to the local barns i think it's maybe like 10 10 15 minutes away so yeah let's go ahead to barns this book shopping video is not done we're just gonna go browse though okay i want to go see because like you know different barns have different selections and so i just want to see what they have we have a little bit of a problem i have a piece of metal stuck in my back rear tire i just called AAA. it says they're gonna be here in about 30 minutes i did manage to get to barnes and noble so i am gonna go peruse around barnes and noble while i'm waiting for the driver to get here it's crazy that this happened because as i was driving over here i like looked at somebody on the side of the road that had a flat tire and i thought to myself dang that sucked and then i literally it happened to me Power manifestation. It works in good and bad ways. <laughs>
even though they're supposed to be here by this time. I just finished up in Barnes and Noble and I'm very proud of myself. I didn't buy anything, but I've never been to this location and it was so cool. It felt like a library almost. I loved it, it was great. I'm honestly just gonna chill and hang out until those people come.